I used to be heavily, heavily addicted to porn and jerking off and, and all that stuff, right? It even got so bad that sometimes in class I used to fap. And that's not even the worst thing. Because there were literally times where I got home from school. Um, of course, on school you have all, all these girls around you and all that stuff. And I would I would kind of get in my neighbor, in my neighborhood. And my dick literally got hard already. Because I knew I was about to fab to the pictures of girls at my school. Now when you think about it. That's fucking disgusting. And at first I I can still remember like the first times that I was relapsing. I thought like oh this is just normal. Everybody is doing it so I should do the same right. But over time I started watching all these nofab videos and all that stuff. And I felt fucking dirty. I felt so fucking dirty every time I I relapsed. I was like, ah, oh, this doesn't feel right. It feels fucking dirty. I feel like I feel like I, there's so much to accomplish in life, and instead I'm I'm sitting here with literally seed on my on my fucking hand, right? Literally semen on my own hand. It was so di- fucking disgusting. I could conquer the world. I could leave a legacy. And instead I was sitting there with semen on my hand. Um, the times that I was actually relapsing the most. I'm talking like. Three, four times a day. Was. When I was watching the most nofap videos. That's kind of weird right. Um, when you look at it like from a first. From a perspective. It, it's kind of. It's. It's weird. But when you go deeper into it. What's the goal of all these nofap videos. Is it to actually help you quit fapping, quit porn, quit quit relapsing? Or is it to get views, to hook your attention, to make you click on their, on their titles? Because I can guarantee you right now it's, it's the second thing, bro. For 99.9 nofab YouTubers out there, all they want is attention. And I can't blame them for it, right? Because they want to make it out the out the hood of, as well, right? But yeah, man, the thing is just I think it doesn't help you. And in fact, I actually think that it in ways it actually works against you. Because think about it: what what kind of thumbnails are they using? They know. They know, I, I guarantee, bro, they know that when they use, like, titties, like, titties out in their titles and they use, like, these big ass, ass girls in their in their thumbnails and all that stuff, uh, they will fu- you will fucking relapse. You will, you will get this cue. You will click. You will click. Like, the, the thumbnails, I think the thumbnails for these videos... The, there's like this metric on YouTube, it's called like click-through rate, and that's basically how many people click on your video. Normally it's like, I don't know, 5% or something like that. When you have like this half-naked girl in your title, I've heard it's like 15%. So that's like 3x, right? And the reason I've never done this shit before is... And I could be sitting here saying like, oh, it's all because I only care about you, but 
and this is in fact true, but it's also, it's, it's my soul, right? I don't want to make money off of not helping people, but make them feel like I'm actually helping them. But some people are not like, like that, bro. And I, I genuinely believe that if you do this shit once, you will get a lot of views and you will do it over and over and over again and it, it will kind of become addictive. And I can't blame them for it. But it's something that you need to take notice of. Oh, when you see this like half naked girl in the thumbnail, desubscribe to them. Uns I don't know how you say it, unsubscribe to them. Immediately. Because they're not ho they're not there to help you, bro. They're not there to help you. They're there to hook your fucking attention. They're there to, to make you click. They know that you get a cue in your head. And that you might relapse, right? The second reason why I believe these NoFap videos aren't really helping you is because you're seeing yourself as the guy that is, is still a fapper. You're on, you're trying to be on NoFap, but you need to watch, you see yourself as the guy that needs to watch videos in order to quit fapping. Do you think that's going to help you to have that self image of the guy that's still relapsing? Of course not. Because I've been there as well, bro. I can still remember I was like searching up these, these things on, on inside, like these Instagram models and stuff. And I was like, oh yeah, I might give it, give it up right now already because I'm a, f I'm a fapper anyways. So I might relapse right now instead of 10 minutes from now because then I will still save 10 minutes to work on my business, right? That's literally how I thought. So if you still have this belief that you are this fapper, that you that you are going to relapse, or that you need advice to help you re to help you quit fapping, you're not going to give give this shit up, right? So, what can you actually do? I think all you need to do is just cut out the cues. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. It takes a fucking... It takes time. It takes time. You're not going to go from, like, heavily addicted nine times a day to quitting like that. It's, it's never going to happen. You need to identify where is it coming from. Why are you relapsing? But yeah, I man, I think most of it just comes down to willpower because you will get the cues anyway. You will get the cues. You will get triggered always. I mean, what you you could literally s look outside, see a, a girl that triggers some interest in you and you could relapse. The point is to remove as many triggers as possible. So yeah, man, that's, bas that's all I wanted to say for... Today, be patient with it. Never give up on your fucking NoFap journey. And know that there's something very beautiful on the other side of the, I don't know how you say it, echelon, I don't know, coin, something like that, right? So yeah, man, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.